It took me forever to notice I've been staring up this entire time, but there's literal heads lacing the entire perimeter of the cathedral. guys and welcome back. Today we are in Siena, Italy and we're just spending the day here. We drove down from our Airbnb. It was about an hour and a half drive. Right now we're right in the city center in the Piazza del Campo which is the home to the public plaza and the Tower of Mangia. So we ended up buying the Apazi Pass which is basically a pass to where we can get into a lot of the different museums and buildings and it saves us about 50% of the money that we would have spent if we bought them individually. We spent 22 euros each to be able to get the pass. Yeah, that pass is mainly, mainly for like the monument complex. Uh, like I said, right now we're in the plaza. So we have to figure out exactly how we're gonna go about our day and figure out a way of the land. This city is gorgeous so far. There's all these old like medieval alleyways and awesome architecture. We're just gonna spend the day wandering around, getting lost in the beauty of the city. Let's get going. I believe you can go up in the tower. Uh, we might do that later on, but we really do want to take advantage of these passes that we bought. So we're gonna head over to the monument complex. It's not that far from here, a little walk, and then we'll go check out all that. If we got time, maybe we'll go in the tower later, who knows? If you're new here, we're not always big on cities, but when it's full of history, we do like to check them out. Uh, we do really enjoy being out in the wilderness and trying to hike and building up to doing bigger hikes in the future. We were a uh, tattoo artist and uh, body piercer and sitting inside six days a week prior to leaving for our full-time journey. So we're building up our physical endurance as we, as we go. But yeah, make sure you subscribe because we got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So far walking around is crazy, beautiful architecture. It's so old. And then like there's cafes, shops, museums. Another torture museum. I don't know what's up with you Italians and torture, but somebody leave a comment below and let me know. It's the medieval time, Sean. <laughs> Siena is actually divided into 17 different neighborhoods. Uh, we were just walking through and I saw a statue of a wolf in the middle. I believe this is like the neighborhood of the wolf. But what's pretty cool is twice a year they have a race called the Palea. It's a horse race and whichever, whichever neighborhood wins the races pretty much takes control of the whole city for the year. I guess like all the governing and all that. It's pretty interesting. I know there's like mixed emotions about the race in the world just because the way it's done. It's pretty interesting. We're getting our first glimpses of the Duomo and it's huge. It's freaking gorgeous. The pattern reminds me of like the Basilica of Santa Croce in Florence with like the white and green stripes. Yeah, it does. It almost reminds me of like paper on the outside. I don't know why. Every time I look at it, I always like think of just like this beautiful wallpaper. Yeah, like a, it could be like a paper mache almost look. Yeah. Built out of passion. <laughs> I was so freezing this morning and now I'm burning up. Also a new tour they started, I think this year is called like the Gates of Heaven where you get to go up in the top of the cathedral. We've got a reservation for 5.30 tonight, so I'm excited for that. It's a guided tour as well. Yeah, there's a few things that are inside of here. I believe the crypt and the library are in here. So there's a couple things that we're gonna tick off inside the Duomo. Oh wow. Like I was saying about all the neighborhoods, you can see right here in the circle, there's a whole bunch of them different represented on the floor. The 
the Duomo also hosts a lot of different artwork from famous painters, including Donatello and Michelangelo, which is exciting. All the stripes make it so unique. You see the angels holding the candles? Donatello actually designed this tomb over here, and there's a couple tombs inside of the church that I have seen. It took me forever to notice, I've been staring up this entire time, but there's literal heads lacing the entire perimeter of the cathedral. It's beautiful, but it creeped me out at first. <laughs> Go into the library, Piccolomini. have like real gold in them. Oh yeah. This is the overview of the Duomo. We came into the cathedral, went over to the library, and then we went into the bookshop as well. But now we're about to go into the crypt and we can also get into the Museo dell'Opera, so the Opera Museum. And then a Battistero, I'm not sure what that is. Mm -hmm. What's a Battistero? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. It's on, our, it's on our pass, we can go there, so. This is a viewpoint right here as well that we can go to and get an overview of the whole piazza. You guys learned what our pass included the same time Marissa did. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. The crypt's gonna wait a minute. Marissa gets to do her creepiness in a few. We're passing by the Museum of the Opera right now, and I saw pictures online. It looks massive and beautiful inside. We're gonna check that out. Then we're gonna go to the crypt so we can make our way around instead of going back and forth. Smart. We're using our brains today. <laughs> Made it inside. The lady at the front desk was like top flight security of the world, Craig. She, did not she was giving us such a hard time. I don't think she knew what the gimbal was. I don't know, it was wild. On the sign, it literally says no tripods, no flash. So when I asked her what the problem was, she was like confused. Her English wasn't great. My Italian is terrible. But we figured it out, and we're inside. in line for the terrace, which is supposed to be one of the best views for Siena. Yeah. My fear of heights isn't even kicking in yet, so that's good. It's not bad. They're not kidding, that view is spectacular. So beautiful. We're higher than the Ferris wheel. Are we? The views in Siena are insane. You have all the red rooftops. You can see everything, the alleyways, the Duomo, the big tower at the plaza. It's crazy. I love it. It looks like rain's coming in. You see that rain wall over there? Do you see that? We just finished up at the Museo d'Opera. It was really cool. It wasn't what I thought. I thought we were going to the actual opera house, which I saw online. It was like massive on the inside. That's why I was saying that. But it was still awesome. And we got to go up to that freaking epic, beautiful, gorgeous, insert every other word that has that kind of description. I called it. It's starting to rain. And we're going to do the crypt and then get some gelato till our 5.30 reservation for the gates to heaven.
can see here mm -hmm. and down the hole. So I think it was a part of like, the original structure. And now it's been all reinforced with the metal to make sure it withstands all the pressure because we're like underneath the Duomo right now. You see all like the original architecture and the original wood floors down there. Oh my god. I could go for a Harris Teeter sub right now. What? I just got a Publix email on my Apple Watch and I was like, man, Publix was cool, but I miss Harris Teeter subs. What? Ham and American right now. Lettuce, onions, oil vinegar, salt, pepper, oregano. Maybe I'd slap. Stop. Up there looks back into the cathedral we were in earlier. Another thing that you can do in Siena, get some pastries. Orange pastry, never had an orange pastry before, but I'm gonna try it out. And I got an iced Americana. Today got even better. <laughs> Marissa got tired of the gimbal, so if it's shaking now, make sure you leave a comment below from this point on and uh, tell her to stop being a baby and carry the gimbal. I had no problems with it. I was perfectly fine to leave it on for so the rest of the day. So you could be the, the cameraman then? No, because then you'll say it's not steady and I move too fast. I don't get the right shots. So we've done almost all the stops. We have the baptistry left and then we have the gates at, gate to heaven, I believe, I think it was called. I don't know. We've been so many places and sometimes I mess everything up in my head but yeah so they're actually located in the same place we had a 5:30 reservation but i think i'm gonna ask to see if we can go in a little early we are talking and i don't think we're gonna be able to get a good sunset from down below and marissa really wants to fly the drone but inside these cities you're really not supposed to fly drones literally just the other day somebody ran one into something in italy and rome and then another one in pisa and i'm not trying to make national headlines get our drones seized get arrested or get any fines so we're going to leave the city and just pop it up in like a field and try to get a good overlook and then maybe try to catch a sunset i'm not sure because we might try to head home and just get dinner towards home because we do have like an i think it was like an hour and 45 minute drive We are in the baptistery and there is a huge white box that houses something and I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's important. Mm, it's got helmets. I think they're just people looking in there. I don't know, it's something about Donatello. So mm. we're about to find out. Looks like they're doing a renovation project on that. I told you they were doing renovation. <laughs> you look crazy with your mask. Technical difficulties, COVID problems. <laughs> the baptistry was small, but once again, beautiful. Marissa was enamored by the art. And I mean, I was too, but it doesn't take much to impress me when it comes to art. I suck at it. So. But we do have to run around to the other side, the front side of the church where we started off today, and then try to figure out how we can do this gate to heaven. I'm so glad that we came to Siena. It's a smaller city, and I wish we had more time to explore, but we decided to do everything kind of in the same vicinity today. But you could definitely come for two days, I think, at least. That's where we were earlier, whenever we looked over the entire plaza. Unfortunately, we cannot get into the gates of heaven early today. They say that they book it up 18 people at a time. So we're gonna wait here for the next 30 minutes until it's time for us to go inside. See you guys whenever we're getting ready for the gates of heaven. We're back in the cathedral at the meeting point to go do the gates to heaven. Or stairs. So the tour isn't necessarily guided, we just have security making sure we don't fall over anything or touch stuff that we're not supposed to. So we're just going to go through, it's pretty much through the attic and get to see a different perspective from above.
Sean and I should have gone to separate places and waved at each other. You could see where we were before. <laughs> Perfectly. It's such a cool experience to come up here and be able to see all this from the top. You're just like looking down on it. It's peaceful. We're literally in the top of the cathedral. It's only like probably 15 feet to the top. Look. You struggle? I can turn. It's a tight squeeze. I feel like you're on that train in Bangkok again. No, I couldn't fit through that door. I could actually go through this. No, not up here. It's a little... It might be questionable. <laughs> Concluded our tour. Yeah. That was awesome. If you're in Siena and you do book the pass, you definitely need to book the Gate to Heaven tour. Uh, you do have to book it ahead of time. I booked ours last night. Luckily, snagged two spots for the 5:30 evening time. It was the last time it's available. It was awesome. I liked, I liked it. this one better than the other one for the like views. <laughs> Marissa likes. She liked the views better from the top of here than than when we were over in the. Um, the Museum de Opera. One day in Siena is definitely not enough. We've been here all day. All the museums are starting to close up and uh, we did do the museums and that was great but we really haven't got to experience the city. I would say if you're gonna come to Siena at least do two days because you can go into like the countryside as well and go to some wineries and just the epic views. I mean you can probably spend at least three or four days in this region. I know we're not too worried about it. I have a photography tour booked later this week. I'm going to do like a mentorship program with a Tuscany photographer who's amazing and I can't wait to learn from him. So we're going to actually go to a lot of the sites outside of Siena. So today we were just focusing on being in the city. So this is what you can do in one day in Siena. We're going to walk down back to our car. It's about a 10 minute walk. Throw the drone up and try to get some like awesome views from the top of the city. We were originally planning to eat dinner and hang out for a sunset but I think we're going to get on the road. So enjoy these drone shots. Check back in a year. Those are the kind of paintings I'm going to be doing on our channel. Also, it's called Gate to Heaven. I don't know how many times we've called it Stairway to Heaven today, but it's Gate to Heaven. Only you called it Stairway to Heaven. Yeah, that's because you didn't know the name. It's because you were thinking Blood Zeppelin. Yeah, whatever. Beep. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. 